Hello. I am going to attempt to teach you how to string up nunchucks. This may not be the right way, but this is the way that works for me. So, let's watch. I've already done one side to make sure I was doing it right. So, we're going to take our paracord and then a piece of wire. You can use paperclip, guitar string. This is some wire that was wrapped around some other stuff, right? So you take your wire and some pliers. And I'm going to straighten this out just so I can show you what I did. Okay, so. Take your wire and take the little end of it and just bend it over into a hook. So you have a hook. You take your paracord and you burn the end so that it's solid on the end. That way you can take your hook and feed it through. You poke it through the, the, the sheathing of the paracord so that it's running up the middle so now it's like hooked in there right and this wire that I'm using is a little bit too flexible but take it and I kind of crimp it down in there so it really holds so you can pull it through all right so you take your wire you go through your end hole and out one of the side holes like so and you pull it through and you give yourself plenty to work with paracord's cheap you can you can waste some pull it all the way through the first hole then you go straight through the bottom hole all right then you come up you go straight through again like so pull that through I'm keeping it all kind of loose right now. And you take it, you go through the bottom hole again. And it gets all, it's all twisted. You gotta make sure it's not twisted. Then we're going through the top hole again and back out the end. going to try to. There we go. So what you'll end up with, you'll see two here, two here, and two coming out here. Now you repeat that on the other side. Through the end, out the side, straight through the middle, Straight through the middle. Straight through the middle. Out through the top. Okay, now you can take your wire off and tie these two ends together. So I'm just doing a overhand knot and then a double knot, like so. All right, and you pull it tight, tight, tight. Now you see how that's too long, right? So what you've got to do is you just keep fiddling with this knot until it's as short as you need it to be. That didn't help at all. You can also, so our side with the knot you know, it keeps slipping out to where it's the same length every time. So what we can do is we can shorten this one. And to shorten this one, you do have to 
feed everything through. And I try to make it shorter than what I want it to be because once you tighten everything in, it's going to get longer. So now we've got that like way short, right? But that's okay. Tie or not. Now this, you know, this isn't the most secure knot in the world, but it will be. <clears throat> because we're gonna burn the ends together to lock it in place. Now that's a good length. It's about the same length as my other side. Now that we have the length sorted out, take your scissors, and I like to cut this off as close as I can. And then you burn it, you get the end really melty. And while it's still melted, you take the side of your lighter and you smash it in there. And that just melts everything together and locks this knot into place. This is not, not going to come untied. And if you don't smash melted plastic into your finger and burn yourself, you ain't doing it right. Okay, so now we've got the length right, but we, but we can see the knot, right? And that's unattractive. You can't see the knot on this side. So what you have to do is feed all this through to where the knot is tucked down into that hole. Take this and pull this. Just jam that knot down in there. It doesn't always want to fit. You can smash it with the pliers, make the knot kind of smaller profile. Okay, now the knot's down there in there as far as it'll go. And now we can just continue feeding it. Now we want to make sure everything's super tight. So when you pull this through, you make it real tight. Sometimes you can't get your pliers in there. Take a, just a pointy object that you can wedge in there and grab it. Okay, now as once we have this side all fed through and, and tightened, now you see this is uneven, so now we have to pull this side to where it's even. How about that? So now we have three-piece nunchucks. What are they for? I don't know, but someone asked me to make a set, and I made a set. So there we go.